Hey guys, it is Fluffy says here and welcome back to another video for you guys today. Today guys, we're going to be doing another video back on the trail across the street from my house. Before we get into this video, I would just like to say I'm sorry for not posting one of these in a while. It's just been not a lot of time to edit this as well as to go work on the trail itself. So because of that, a lot of the stuff in today's video is me mostly reworking some of the stuff as well as adding some things to make it more smooth. However, I did add around four rollers in today's video to the trail set that are going to be amazing for us to go and look at. With that being said though, let's just jump straight into it. For starters, I had to rework the front of the trail since it was just not that great. As soon as it dried out, I was able to ride it at full speed and I ran into a lot of problems. For starters, there was too big of a gap between the second and third roller, which made it really awkward to ride as you kinda had to hit a turn. Because of that, I decided to add a little roller berm, which I think worked out quite nice. It definitely didn't turn out to be the greatest thing in the world, but for now, it would do just fine. This next clip we're going to take a look at was actually made much, much later than the clips I will be showing after it, and that is because I didn't think I had to implement it until later down the line. So I actually went on and made a bunch of other rollers before coming back to this jump. The reason I wanted to put this jump in here is you carry a lot of speed across all of those rollers, which allows for you to actually make a jump, as well as the fact that it makes it somewhat hard to make that turn sometimes. Because of that, I added this jump as a form of bypass. That way you don't have to hit that third roller and hit those two turns. Next up on our agenda was fixing that second roller. The first roller was the newest one and was super smooth and really fun to ride. The second roller was an original roller that I put in with the first trail set. The reason that one needs reworking is I kind of just tore that one apart from the top and made it slightly shorter and lumpier. That however did not work perfectly and it's starting to wear away on the sides which makes it really difficult to roll as you're going in blind from the first roller. Now that we got the front of the trail all fixed, it's time to start adding some new features. For starters, a really big fourth roller if you're going off of the main track. If you go the main way, you'll hit this fourth roller just after you make a left bank after hitting the third roller. This roller, as always, is using a bunch of sticks that I took from around the woods and cut up to fit in as little logs to help fill in the access dirt holes. Along with that, I also made two huge divots in the front and then one in the back, which allowed for the roller to feel much bigger despite it being shorter. With that out of the way, it is now time to work on the next roller, which is actually me just combining two tiny little rollers I had from my trail before into one bigger roller now. After that, it was time to take on my biggest feature yet. I was really intimidated by this because I had no clue how I was actually going to make it work. And for some foreshadowing, I didn't make it work. I tried making a berm roller, which really did not work as planned. It turned into just like a big roller that you could maybe use as a berm. No, you, you couldn't use it as a berm at all. But to do this, I actually had to take some supplies that I had elsewhere as I really wanted to make this roller big. So I started off by taking an old berm and tearing that apart, as well as going and grabbing some supplies from a different berm that I tore apart. I then dug a ginormous hole in the ground where I could place a giant log that I would use as the main foundation of the roller. Thank you. 
that failed roller berm that I put right there is put there strategically as there is two directions you can go in once you hit that point. The path actually breaks out into two directions, one to the left if you take the roller, and then one to the right if you use it as a berm. I then moved on to the right side where I was going to make three more rollers that will give you some speed in order for you to make a big jump. With that being said though, that is going to end off today's video. I'm so sorry I couldn't get actual footage of me riding it all the way through. It's just gotten too cold outside for the trail to actually stay dry. It'll rain and then like a week and a half later the trail will still be wet. Of course I could do some more drainage, but really the problem is up at the front of the trail where I actually can't do any drainage because it's out in the open. That all gets flooded and is impossible for me to actually start. With that being said though, if you enjoyed, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new. Make sure you ding that notification bell, that way you can come to every single one of my streams and anytime one of my videos drops. If you guys do want to see more of these, please let me know down in the comment section below. I've only done two so far, counting this one, and I'm thinking about making another channel for Fluffy Says Biking, which is going to have footage of me, of course, making the trail, as well as riding other trails and my trail. I just think it could be a fun little secondary channel I could do, but I would really like to hear your guys' opinions about it. I was also thinking about maybe getting a GoPro so I can get some better footage as well as a second camera angle here so I don't have to constantly keep moving the tripod and camera, but of course I would also like to hear your opinions about that. Lastly though, thank you to my members, you guys are absolute mad lads, my little lettuces, my bear cubs, and my mama bears. Thank you all so much for supporting me and allowing me to do what I do. Love you all so much. I'd also like to say we just hit 1,000 members on my Discord server at time of recording this audio segment. So I'd like to give my Discord server a little bit of a shout out. It will be linked down in the description. If you join it, I have tons of fun activities we do on there as a community as well as lots of support for things like VR, as well as some bike stuff if you are a bike enthusiast though. With that being said, that is going to end off today's video. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye!